Hey guys, so the nursery is finally done and I'm super excited to show you guys. With Avery and Brooks, I feel like I never really got to do a proper nursery for them. With Avery, we were in a rental house and I didn't want to make a lot of changes to it. And then I was also, had recently been laid off, so I didn't want to spend a lot of money decorating. And then with Brooks, I was totally excited to do everything, go over the top. We owned our first home and I was so excited. And then I was on bed rest. So with this guy, I wanted to make the nursery perfect. Um, and I'm going to take you guys a few months back to let you know how the planning all started. I'm Meg and I'm passionate about finding ways to make life with kids easier in the kitchen. So today I've got some really special guests with me, Brooke, who you guys all know, and our friend Laura. And Hi. the first thing I did when I started thinking about the nursery was call Brooke because I was way <laughs> overwhelmed, like way too many decisions to be And made. of course those are my favorite phone calls ever, <laughs> but it is, and I can't imagine how stressful it would be having to design a nursery while you already have two kids. And what was so crazy was the timing. I had just gotten off the phone with my friend Laura and she was telling me about this new company she had started. It's an online interior design company. It is the coolest thing ever. I'm gonna let her describe it. She'll do a better job than I will. So my company, Laurel & Wolf, is a marketplace for interior design where interior designers all over the country can e-decorate for clients all over the country. And you pay a one-time flat fee and you get multiple designers designing your space. Well, Great. we are really excited and Good. I can't wait to show you guys the results. Same here. So I had so much fun doing this nursery. Let's go upstairs and check it out. And here it is. And as you can tell, like the theme of the nursery is gray. The walls are already gray. I didn't want to have to repaint. I figured I'd do that when we were doing a toddler room and then we kind of have the pops of blue. We have some like royal blues and then some navies. Okay guys, so we're in the nursery and I have Brooke with me because um, she helped me with a lot of different stuff in here. And so we're just gonna take you guys through everything. And the first thing is this amazing growth chart that she made. Yeah, I actually just made this last night and it was one of the few DIYs. It was actually easier than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> it was really fun and so I'm gonna do an episode on it in a couple weeks, so tune in. Tune in. And then we'll go over here. Okay, so this is like the book nook, I guess you could say, and these are both from Ikea, the shelf and the bookshelf. I love the finish on these. It's yeah, so nice. they're like a high gloss gray, which is super cute. And then these little inserts I found at Target just to keep knickknacks and everything. Um, these are actually from Marshalls. I got a bunch of stuff from like Target and Marshalls. All right, so now we're at the crib and I had the crib before. I actually had two cribs, one for Avery um, and one for Brooks. And so Laurel and Wolf helped me choose which one to use. And we went with kind of a little bit of the more modern one. Um, and we got the sheets from Pottery Barn and then I had the elephant. I got the pillow from Marshalls again. These and sheets then, are really cute. They're cute, right? <laughs> I love I it. Know. And these were a super fun DIY project that Brooke and I did together. We had seen something similar in Etsy and I asked if she could help me recreate it. Yeah, these were really fun. We picked out the scrapbook paper. I have to say, I was so impressed. Meg drew all of these silhouettes by hand. I have um, a hidden drawing talent. Yeah, I know. I was <laughs> really, really impressed because I can't draw, so they turned out really cute. And then over here, we have the curtains, and they're from Pottery Barn Kids, and Laura and Wolf helped me pick these out, as well as the iCat rug down here, which I never would have known to do, but I really, really love it. It's kind of got a cool pop, right? Yes. And then I also have a few bins that I got from Target. They were really inexpensive, and I just think that Target's a great source for, you know, you know, accessories and things like that. And then over here we have the glider, which I actually got from Walmart, and then a few little accent pillows from like Marshalls and Home Goods, and then this lamp is from Target. And then this behind me, this gorgeous piece of artwork, is courtesy of Brooke. Yeah, this is really fun. This is actually something that I saw and was gonna buy from, I think it's like allmodern.com. It was like a hundred bucks or something, and I thought, I bet I can make that, and so. And I said, you better, because I'm not paying hundred <laughs> bucks for it. So yeah, so we did, and it turned out really cute. All right, so over here is the dresser. Obviously, we have Ryder's name up in here, and I did these letters. I'd seen them, and I, I don't know, anthropology, restoration, something. They were A, really expensive, and B, really heavy, and because it was gonna be over where I was changing him, I wanted something a little different. So they're just um, paper mache letters that I made to look yeah, like. These things. are seriously brilliant. Everyone should use these kind of letters in a yeah, they're room. Yeah, they super cute. We actually use the wooden ones, and I love, I mean, you can't tell, obviously, on the wall, but they're so, so light. Right, and then also I just hung them up with Velcro, so if I wanted to reposition them or anything, I could do that. All right, and then we have the dresser. I had this um, since Avery was little. It's from Ikea, super simple, but I wanted to update it a little bit, so I actually found these knobs online, or these, like, ring poles really that I could nice. put on them, kind of modernize it, and just do something a little bit different, make it seem like it's his own dresser. Mm -hmm. 
And then I wanted a little bit of a different changing pad, and so I found this one on Etsy. It was inexpensive and shipped right away, and I was super excited about it. And then we just have a few different accents to kind of bring out the blue color over here. So anyway, that's it. This is Ryder's Nursery. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I want to thank Laura and Will for helping me because it was a really fun process, and I finally feel like I got my dream nursery. Yay! Um, and also, I hope you guys appreciate how Brooke and I are matching the nursery today. I didn't plan to wear it gray, but I think she I might have. might have subconsciously a little bit. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Bye. Welcome home, my friend. I love you. We love you, buddy. Yeah.